Hello, good evening everybody out there. Katie Brown here and I'm here to share with you um, another one of my favorite oils from Young Living and um, give you some tips on how to use it. Um, I was going to do this video outside because um, this oil I use mostly when I'm outside, but um, it got too dark on me too fast. And so um, I am going to just do it inside and tell you to go outside. Okay, and um, the oil I'm going to tell you about today is citronella. Um, you might be familiar with that, um, and you probably guess why I'm going to tell you to take it outside. Um, and it's just to keep all those pesky, annoying fly things outside away from you. Um, I am one of those people who just like walk outside and just feel like I am in a cloud of gnats. And so, um, I love the Young Living Insect Repellent and my own homemade outdoor spray. But, um, what I do outside when we're playing outside for a long time, um, I take my diffuser outside, plug it in, fill it up with some citronella, and then it really just does a great job keeping all of those pesky fly things away from me and my boys. And, um, so... This is a great holiday weekend. Everybody's getting together with family and there's lots of picnics and barbecues and we're outside. So take your oils outside with you. Um, take your diffuser outside, put some citronella in it. If you don't have citronella, you might have purification. It's another one of our most popular ones and a key ingredient in it is citronella. And um, there's lots of other oils that help keep pesky things away too. So just if you don't know um, what you can use, like if you just have the starter kit, give a shout. Um, peppermint's good, lemon's good, lavender's good. Um, like I said, give a shout and I will help you um, use what you got to keep those pesky, annoying, fly things away from you. Um, but citronella is a great one. And um, you've heard of citronella candles and you've probably burned them before, but those candles you buy at the store are um, probably filled with just synthetic citronella chemicals. They've made it smell like citronella. It has some of the same properties. It does keep the pests away, but it also it just has a lot of extra chemicals. Um, and so that's why you should use the real thing, the real deal, the real citronella to keep those pesky things away from you so you don't have any added um, chemicals to your body. Um, and I want to share one more great tip. Um, maybe you're somewhere where you can't plug in a diffuser outside. Um, you can make, um, my friend Kim Mullen shared this, um, and you've probably seen it. Um, you can make a jar of salt, and I went and got some of the fancy salt. This is the pink Himalayan salt. You could just use rock salt, any kind of salt. Um, I have lots of Epsom salts. I debated doing it in Epsom salts. Um, and you just uh, fill this. I have this little jar filled up, and then I put um, about 20 drops of citronella in here, and it's going to absorb in there, and then I can just take it off. Um, I'm going to take that... Um, to our family gathering so when we're outside and the kids are playing um i'm gonna test it out and see how it works versus just taking my diffuser um these are real easy to throw in the bag um we just finished up t-ball season and i really wish i had this and i would just get this jar out when i was at the ball field instead of always making sure i'm covered in bug spray um but if you're just throwing it in a bag, I might even just keep one of these in the car. So if we're out at the park, we just get it out, sitting at the picnic table, keep those pesky things away. Um, but I made up one, same deal. But this one, um, I just did burlap on top so it has the air holes um, for that good smelling oil stuff to get out. And a little ribbon. And this is the same deal. This is the um, pink Himalayan salt with 20 drops of citronella. Um, this one, I'm going to find something, um, you know, I don't want to just have it open and knock my salt over everywhere. So I'm going to find something a little meshy, like two or something. If you're not a DIY kind of person and you're like, I don't know how to do that. Um, they make little screens. So instead of this little rim, um, ceiling lid that you have on a mason jar, they make a, a screen one, um, that you could just put in there. 
Um, and then you could just put the, when you throw it in the bag, you could put the solid one back on top. So that could be a travel one for you. So, but you know, this, I'm a crafty person. I had this around and now it's really cute. And um, you could set a couple of these out on your picnic table to keep uh, the fly things away from your food. If you have lots of tables outside, we do a family reunion outside every year in, in October. And I'm totally gonna make up a bunch of these. They might not all have the pretty fancy pink salt in them, but rock salt would be great um, to put on all the tables out, out there. So it just will help keep all those um, things away. And now it's pretty. And so um, I'm going to probably stick with rock, rock salt um, versus just like Epsom salt. I don't want somebody to think that this would be like a salt or a sugar shaker and actually try to eat it. Um, you know get confused so that's why the rock salt plus it's prettier and so um there you go enjoy your time outside enjoy your time with family and um especially keep those pesky fly things away and get that citronella diffusing outside um and and wear it um just put a drop on you and it's like a bug be gone um uh, my son <laughs> likes to say invisibility shield when he's playing around, I have an invisibility shield. So um, make yourself invisible to the bugs and use citronella. All right. I hope you have a great evening and a blessed weekend. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.